Yes, it's Karl Novak from WWF, and let's see what he has to say. Hello, everyone. Thank you for still being here. And uh, we will have a couple of uh, rock star slides as I build a presentation today, um, due to the fact that uh, it was quite so, uh, spontaneous. And uh, then my it crashed because it was a little bit too much. And uh, yeah, we're very much into very visual uh, things. So um, yeah, hi, I'm Carl. I'm from WWF Germany. Um, um, uh, basically, what you need to know about me, I'm uh, kind of in this hybrid situation that I'm the last generation being offline, first generation being online, so I'm trying to figure out myself uh, in, in, in this, yeah, with this knowledge of, of best of both worlds. And um, I'm coming from the music industry, so I was always uh, very with, uh, yeah, very with trend topics and stuff like that. So what I'm doing for WWF is basically stuff like the web shop that I recently built. So if you still need Christmas presents, we have a very nice one now. I'm doing some gaming stuff and um, I'm doing uh, also two projects that I wanted to uh, share with you, um, which is kind of like the blockchain topic also. So, um, I guess you're uh, quite aware of uh, what, uh, what the whole blockchain Web3 thing is. So, uh, what I'm always explaining is basically we're right now Web2 still, and we're now going into Web3 and uh, going into this, um, yeah, into the stage that we own digital goods. Um, why should we care as an NGO? Uh, it's basically because um, the market is projected to be around 20 billion by the end of this uh, decade. So this is why I'm digging into that. This is why I'm. Why well, it's interesting for us as a, yeah, as a huge uh, NGO. It's one of the world's leading NGO. And yeah, talking about blockchain, uh, there you like. You've talked about blockchain the whole day, right? So uh, I don't need to do that. Cryptocurrencies, blah, blah, blah. Um, what we did last year was uh, looking into NFTs, one of the buzzwords that also uh, none of you want to hear anymore. And if I'm talking about NFTs, this is always animated, but it's now a PDF, so sorry for that. Um, this is how I explain it to the older generation always, like uh, you had art uh, that was then digitalized and um, yeah, then uh, you can sell it as NFTs. And this is how I basically yeah, tell it to the younger people. It's digital ownership, right? So um, last year at the very beginning when I started with WWF, uh, we thought like, okay, um, there is a huge hype around that. And uh, for me as a marketing person uh, who's building technological stuff, um, I saw that our target group is basically starting with 35 plus. So there was a huge gap for me if it comes to WWF, if it comes to like being approached by the brand, being approached by the whole topic. So I thought like, okay, what can I build that is kind of like digging into that field? And um, non-fungible animals uh, was the first case I started last year. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, two weeks after I uh, started with the company, digging into that and telling the people like, yeah, we would like to do something with crypto and blockchain and blah, 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 blah. All right, so uh, we were at a point where we saw like, okay, there is a lot of hype. And, uh, and I thought like, okay, how can you use the hype and turn it into help? And uh, there is a video. And if I find the mouse, which is somewhere here, nice. NFT. Here we go. Every digital artwork a unique signature. It is a new way of ownership. It has created a lot of buzz and astonishment. Can the hype be turned into help? WWF presents NFA, non-fungible animals. In collaboration with renowned international artists, NFTs become NFAs, a collection of 10 unique pieces of digital art designed to help the fight to save 10 endangered species. All pieces of art are limited to the exact number of animals left in the world. Help the fight to save endangered species. Access wwf.de slash NFA and find out how to purchase an artwork. Help us spread this message. So, 
Um, that was the first case last year. NFA, non fungible animals. Sorry. Where's the mouse? You see the mouse? There it is. Uh, where is the PDF? Feel free. All right, uh, so non fungible animals. I guess you, you, you will get the idea of uh, the twist of the words with non fungible tokens, right? So, what we did, uh, we had 10 different artists uh, creating digital art uh, that we minted on the blockchain. Uh, we did it on Polygon. Um, a level two chain, side chain on, of Ethereum uh, for the ones that are um, familiar with the cases. Um, and yeah, um, what we did or why we did it uh, was basically because uh, we were looking into how can we promote uh, the work that we're doing as WWF to a younger target group, of course. And um, it was a nice case because we used new technology and it created a buzz uh, of, of, um, of uh, PR, uh, of course. And uh, yeah, basically, um, we reached like we had quite some reach uh, from uh, Zeit Online uh, in Germany, uh, one of the bigger ones, um, up to Forbes magazine. And basically, so many outlets that you normally don't, uh, yeah, don't appear as as, as WWF. Um, we had companies. This is also animated uh, normally. Um, we had done companies after launching, uh, approaching us like, "Hey, this is so great what you're doing. Uh, can we use the campaign and and uh, help you?" So uh, we had uh, ads of this NFAs uh, in, the, in the subway and stuff like that. It was quite some 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 success um, in the end. Uh, we had uh, 74 million uh, reach in Germany alone, and uh, we generated uh, 300k, um, which uh, we then, of course, used to our projects that we are trying to, um, yeah, trying to, 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 to save the environment of the species that we promoted. So, um, yeah, we um, we basically, yeah, it's, it's, it's sorry for for, for 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 swimming around a little bit here, but uh, if it's not animated, it's a little bit boring. Um, but yeah, the artwork was always very pretty. Uh, we had a beautiful solution. Um, we had a website where you could basically either connect with your wallet or you could, uh, uh, you could actually uh, buy it uh, via credit card. And uh, yeah, so far we've been the most successful uh, NFT, uh, NFT campaign worldwide. And yeah, we basically won every prize that you can have this year. So that was quite nice. Um, this is how I explained uh, because, you know, blockchain today, um, how the energy consumption of uh, Bitcoin, the old proof of work and the new proof of stake um, blockchains is uh, in comparison. I did it also because this is a huge topic for us, of course, because energy consumption is important. And uh, if we would all start, I don't know, doing the El Salvador model that you basically can pay with Bitcoin everywhere, then we go into different problems that we have right now if it comes to energy. So uh, yeah, that was also nice for us uh, educating a little bit um, the environment. Okay, moving on to the second uh, one. Um, after the success we had last year with the campaign and after everything, um, sat down at the beginning of this year uh, with another artist, uh, or one of the artists that, uh, that did uh, one of the animals for us. And we were thinking like, okay, what's next? Should we like do a second drop? Could be nice, but hey, it's innovation, you know. It's always nicer if you do something new and something fresh. And um, so we built uh, the first metaverse for a good cause, you know. Or we, 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 we thought about, like, what if we built our very own metaverse? And from a marketing perspective, of course, if you do a, if you're a brand and if you do a campaign, you have the different outlets that you can uh, trigger, right? Uh, but in the end, marketing is moving somewhere where everything goes into the whole, like, into the surrounding of the brand, into communities and stuff like that. So, um, looking into uh, what a metaverse is basically doing, if if it comes to metaverse, blockchain, you know, all these uh, all these buzzwords together. If you want to combine it, um, you could build everything around the solution of a coin, of of, of something like an NFT, of something like the community uh, on a blockchain, and um, yeah, use the metaverse as a very nice outlet for that. So. Um, the problem there was, uh, if we looked uh, into the Metaverse cases so far, well, it looks all like Second Life 2002 right right now. This is, uh, of course, it, it has reach if it comes to PR and everything, but it's basically 
<sighs> this is horrible, right? So yeah, we thought, um, let's do this better. Um, because what's still missing is a purpose. And uh, then we built, uh, yeah, the first metaverse for a good cause. This is a video, as you can see. Uh, Where's the website again? There is the website. So, um, sorry for accepting all the cookies, right? Uh, so here you are. This is basically what we built. Oh, now it gets tricky. Um, if you're on a website, and if you click into that, then you're here. Oh, so Wi-Fi is also good. So basically, this is how I'm approaching a new target group based on blockchain solution. Um, this is built in Unreal 5 engine. For uh, the ones that are familiar with you, Yeah, so um, basically this is a virtual world we built. Uh, it's an Unreal 5, so it looks super nice. Um, it triggers uh, the gamers, it triggers younger people, it triggers, uh, yeah, it, it, it has a possibility for us to promote the content that we're already doing, the projects that we're already doing in a new way. So uh, what we have here is basically, um, yeah, it's, it's information about like, uh, for example, this, um, uh, this animal is only two times left on the planet, right? And you can walk around and, uh, uh, sorry, a video would be probably easier, but you can see that this works pretty well, right? And um, you have different worlds here. It switches to uh, other, yeah, to other um, uh, environments, snow and stuff like that. If you walk around here, um, you also see that for example, here we have some space for sponsors uh, that supported us here. There is uh, a cave uh, with woods back in there uh, where we're going to do the second drop. But the first one was all about this whale fish here. So um, this whale fish here, oh, I walked too far. Um, the whale fish here, is made out of uh, 50 different pieces, and all of them are basically uh, minted as NFTs. Also on Polygon, this is trash, right? It's trash, and it's an anamorphic, uh, it's an anamorphic installation, which means that, yeah, I forgot that I can fly. It's an anamorphic installation, which means that uh, basically it's uh, behind that, right? And you can see, for example, if you were the mouse. If I click on one of these, then I uh, could uh, click here and then I'm coming to OpenSea where we have that minted. And uh, the money we collected with that is going into a project um, that is displayed here in the back, um, which we have in, uh, in Vietnam where we are collecting real plastic from the ocean, from... Uh, Jesus Christ, this sound is killing me. Sorry. Now again, where is the presentation? Uh, it could be easier. Sorry, guys. I uh, know it's uh, that's a presentation we try to okay yeah um, so we uh, that was the idea of yeah we built a metaverse so we have a space where we can actually uh, have new target groups looking into this uh, we have educational content inside um, we have the project that we connected you see the whale fish uh, that I just shot uh, where's the clicker oh, yeah. this is the main piece uh, from the first uh, one this is uh, what I've just uh, talked about the NFTs all minted on Polygon blockchain. Uh, so yeah, outcomes, uh, here you see uh, how people are walking through and talking about that. Um, we had 5K visitors uh, spending over five and a half minutes in average on the very first uh, 24 or 48 hours. 
Um, we had uh, on the website we had uh, five million impressions within the first uh, 48 hours. Right now we're at uh, 120 million. Um, due to a lot of pro bono uh, media that is always getting, uh, yeah, that we're always getting as, as an NGO, which is a nice thing. Even more, even more TV, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, this is also not animated. Um, we're right now trying to, 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 to look into how this looks in, in, in virtual reality. Uh, also, we had a case uh, that uh, on launch day, um, we were here at uh, the, the Kurfürstendamm, which is the main uh, shopping street here. And uh, through Spark AR technology, uh, we used a whale and uh, had an Instagram funnel uh, building into this. It looks like that. So yeah, uh, where are we going to? Um, as it's end of the year, I don't know how much of you are sitting on marketing money. Um, we're still looking for money, right? Um, the concept is to go more into play to donate. And uh, we're right now here at this uh, first drop with the habitat. And we're going to launch, uh, and then the next steps, we're going to uh, dig deeper into the whole blockchain thing, um, which is that we're going to connect the wallet, where you, for example, then uh, can look into, OK, if you, if you buy a tree, then you can have this uh, tree uh, being, yeah, look at the tree, uh, how it's raised, or you can have digital. Um, animals that you can collect and stuff like that. So this is what's coming with the whole metaverse thing, right? And uh, yeah, sorry it was a little bit messy from my side, but uh, there was just two cases uh, that I wanted to show you how we are approaching uh, new target groups as WWF using blockchain, using web free technologies, and uh, trying to yeah to 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 get new target groups uh, through this modern ways of uh, communicating, right? So thanks a lot. Yes, thank you. That was really interesting. Uh, I just wondered, did you contract out to do the back-end uh, metaverse design, or was that done internally? Uh, that was done by uh, that was done by the artist. I mean, uh, the artist that's that's doing this is basically a CCO from a completely different company, but in his free time, he's a digital artist, and uh, he built this whole thing. And then uh, we contacted basically a company here based in Berlin uh, called Journey that's doing the pixel streaming, and they were like, "Yeah, this is nice, but..." You could actually do this in Unreal 5, it would look even better, but then you have to build it again. So yeah, it was a lot of uh, evenings that he sat on that and um, that, we, that we managed to build it to the stage you just saw, right? Yes. Hey. Yes. Uh, I also had a question um, over right. here. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, my question is about the NFT drop. I mean. Uh, I heard a lot about it in the news back then that there was a negative impact by using Polygon mm -hmm. and that people were talking about how can w WWF use uh, NFTs to mm -hmm. generate money because it has a large environmental impact. You also mentioned it yourself. Um, that backlash led to um, uh, the WWF retracting from mm -hmm. the NFT space. Mm -hmm. um, how have you overcome that? Have you overcome that at all? Because um, I see a new drop now, and, and new drops, and um, a whole metaverse plan. Yeah. Um, how did you deal with that as WWF? WWF is very national-based, so basically you can see it as a franchise model, right? There is a huge brand, and uh, but then markets are doing it by their own. And um, the drop, what I did, was uh, in November last year. It was one of the very first ones in the space. And the one that you're referring to was the UK drop uh, that tried to copy my campaign in February this year, and they really screwed up. So, um, yeah, in, in, in the end, uh, since then, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm helping international markets uh, for us uh, building the strategy in Web3 and uh, helping them uh, understanding NFTs and understanding NFT technology and everything. In the end, they, uh, they had some issues uh, in communication and had some issues in, in understanding it internally. And uh, that broke their neck. And um, yeah, so UK backed out. Uh, this is right. Uh, we are still online. Um, we're still selling, and uh, yeah, in the end, uh, I would have done it differently. Uh, I, I've done it differently, let's say it like that. Okay, yeah. yeah. Hey, 
also I, about the NFTs, um, mm -hmm. do you have information about the buyers? Uh, were they um, people who were donators before or completely new um, clients, uh, donators? Um, we had a lot of donators writing us, this is amazing, this is, this is, this is fantastic what you've done, this is the very first, I, I never had an NFT, but I'm, bill, I'm buying one now because I love the campaign and this is, this is so good. So um, I can't compare it to the donators by itself, but uh, the reach last year uh, with the NFA campaign was e extremely incredible. Like, like I had added a CEO contacting me and just like, wow, this is really nice what you did. So uh, we really looked into a new target group uh, that's normally not giving money to the WWF, but um, then we, re yeah, then we had them, of course. But yeah, it's a lot of wallets and it's not contact details uh, if it comes to like uh, what normally the, the company loves uh, when uh, we're doing marketing, right? So yeah. yes. Don't really have time for more questions. Maybe okay. one more. One more. Okay. Because, yeah. yeah, it's a short question, actually. Mm -hmm. You can say yes or no. Um, yeah, regarding your roadmap, because you also say play to donate, and mm -hmm. you mentioned the whole gamified um, uh, aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Are you planning to um, apply also? game logics uh, in, into yes. this metaverse because... Yes, this is the next step. This is what we learned from that. This was the very first drop. I just wanted to make it happen and just wanted to see how it works. But uh, this is yeah. definitely the way to go. There's like more gaming, more interactive, giving this whole thing uh, a line, how you walk through a task and everything. So yeah, yeah. people are way more into like... Five and a half minutes is, is, is double the amount of time people are spending in, a, in an average metaverse right now. Or yeah. That's what I D &W was thinking also first. when I walked into. Yeah. Because it's great, mate. Uh, journey is great always, but yeah. uh, again, like in all the other metaverses, it's like the attraction. Is yeah, great. definitely, it's definitely. Great. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very Have much. Have a nice evening.